Hello, this is David Coyle, and welcome to the next video in our series, Analyzing Public Data Sets, Finding the Data. Today, we're going to talk about how to find a publicly available next generation sequence data set, how to transfer that data set to Galaxy, and how to manipulate it in order to perform an alignment on Galaxy. To begin, let's imagine that you're a rice geneticist, and you're writing a new paper about rice genetics, and you think you're interested in seeing the data for yourself. Where to begin? Well, first, at the end of the paper, let's scroll down here, looking for a section called a session number. And here, this says that the original actual data set is deposited in NCBI in the Gene Expression Omnibus Database with the following a session number. So we're going to go ahead and copy that and let's open up a browser and go to NCBI. Pull up NCBI here and we're interested in all resources and we're looking for the, the GEO database, the Gene Expression on the Bus database. We'll scroll down, and there it is, Gene Expression Omnibus Geo Datasets. Let's click on that. And this is a database that contains all kinds of, of microarray and, and, and sequence data sets. We'll go ahead and put in our session number, we'll hit return. And here's the paper that we were just reading. And down here you can see supplementary files and you could scroll through and there's a list of 24 sets of files that you could download. We're interested in the first one, the mRNA sequence data, because again, we're looking for RNA expression data that we're going to align to a cDNA database. Let's go ahead and click on that. That takes us to a description of the sample, how the RNA was extracted, etc., etc. And down here at the bottom, you have a couple different options for downloading. We'll go ahead and click on FTP. And this sample actually contains four different data sets. Um, and we're, because we're just going to use this as an example, we're only going to look at first data set and we're going to right click on that and we're going to say save link as and then we're going to save it to our desktop and now we're downloading the data as you can see this is going to take a while so we'll be back and that's all finished so let's take a look so this file was compressed using BZ compression and according to Galaxy you can upload this file to Galaxy and it will automatically decompress it. However, I've never gotten that to work so let's go ahead and decompress it here. Just double click and now it's decompressing the file and we'll upload the decompressed file to Galaxy. And here it is. It's in FASTQ format, and let's go ahead and take a quick look at it using our old friend, the terminal. Resize this just a bit. Okay, we're going to use less. Drag and drop the file name. We'll take a look at the file. This is FASTQ format, so each read has four lines which I've highlighted here. Let's zoom in a little bit here. First is the sequence identifier, the sequence name, the read name. Next is a bunch of information from Illumina about flow cell, etc. Then is the sequence itself. And then there's another line which is another place for the name in some formats. And at the bottom here is the quality score. And you notice that this is the same number of characters as the sequence read. 
And this file happens to be in Sanger format. And in Sanger format, I is the highest possible quality score. So you can see that most of these are I's, and then a few others have other symbols. And that translates to a quality score. And later on, if you use other programs, they'll take this and they'll translate it into a quality score that you can use to determine if, if the sequence is, is good or not at that position. But that's enough for us to see. Let's go ahead and put this into Galaxy. Let's get out of the terminal. Open up a browser. And I've gone ahead and bookmarked Galaxy, so you can easily find it. And here we are at Galaxy again. So we're going to first start with Get Data over here. Click on Get Data. And as before, we're going to upload a file from our computer. And let's give it the file. Make sure to upload the FASTQ file, not the zip file. It's 735 meg. This is going to take a while to upload. You can see here that it's blue. That means it's in process. When it's finished, it'll turn green. And now we're green. And over my slow DSL connection, that took a few hours to upload. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. The I icon right here allows you to view the file. Not all of the file, but it allows you to see the first megabyte of the file. And as you can see, it looks the same as it did in the terminal. So far, so good. However, before this data can be aligned, it needs to be processed in a form that Galaxy uses for alignments. And to do that, we're going to Close this Get Data window. We're going to scroll down here to Next Generation Sequencing, QC and Manipulation. Click on that. And this first option, Fast Q Groomer. Go ahead and click on that. Scroll back out. The Fast Q Groomer will convert this file to the format that Galaxy needs thing you need to be aware of is what kind of input sequence you have. Selexa, Illumina, Sanger, or Colorspace Sanger. In our case, we have Sanger. Um, if you're not sure, I highly recommend that you look at the Wikipedia article on FastQ, which explains in detail how to tell from looking at your sequence what format it's in. So we'll click on Sanger. Um, we're going to just use the default options and we say execute. And now this is queued up and we'll come back when it's finished. And that's finished. That only took about 10 minutes. Now we have our data set into Galaxy and now we need a cDNA database to align it to. And that'll be the subject of the next video. Thanks for watching and see you then.